Yellow, everyone. <clears throat> I am Omega Zero, and we are back with another playthrough. Finally, after ten thousand years. <laughs> so, this should be fairly obvious with this game that we are going to be playing it. You already saw the title, so you must have clicked on it for something. <laughs> um, we are going to be playing Final Fantasy VII. Now. I have a strange, somewhat history of Final Fantasy. Um, Final Fantasy VII was not the game that I started the Final Fantasy series with. Um, in terms of the games that I started with, I started with Four and Tactics, both on the DS. I barely played any of Tactics, and I have not finished Four at this point because at the time it was given to me by Francis to kind of test it out, and I bought it later and I played it on my own time. Uh, the next one I had experience with being 13, so uh, you can say whatever your thoughts on that, but I got that game through giving someone a pizza. So, a whole game for a pizza, yeah. <laughs> and Final Fantasy VII being the latest one I have played, but it's also the one that I had the most, I guess, exposure to through other forms of media, being like Kingdom Hearts, the movies, the books, like all this has been like shoved in my face i'm like oh this series seems pretty cool so i play final fantasy 7 and of the three it kind of by default takes number one as the ones i played the copy of 13 i got was super scratchy so i didn't get too long into it 14 on the ds i believe is the hardest version so make of that what you will <laughs> and so i really really enjoy this game now when it comes to how i am going to be playing this you could kind of if anyone who's played the final fantasy 7 on any of like the quote unquote newer consoles at the time of the release being xbox one switch and ps4 um the game was let's get out here we, the game was, came with some things. For example, you see my name in the corner, it basically, um, I have been the game at this point, going to save one, I have played the game like multiple times, and I, gra uh, I grinded up each character to level 99 and I got the max stats and everything. So we're doing that. Now, we're going to start the new game. And here's your control bank. Uh, anyone, going back to what I was saying, anyone who's played the game recently, has noticed that um, with the new releases that they gave cheats to the characters, in a sense. I will show them off like once, but I will not use them again for the sake of the playthrough. Now I'm going to shut up and let this amazing cutscene play. Oops. <laughs> My bad.
So first, knock, grab, go to that knockout guard, and you grab two potions. Uh, grab a potion, what am I talking about? <laughs> it's been a long time since I played this game, but I do like it still. Okay, so, uh, you have the battle system, being that it's active, that means, like, if you haven't played a Final Fantasy game, uh, when it's active, that means, like, you are, it's constantly moving forward, there's no pause in your way, it's not your typical turn-based RPG. You people, sh people should be aware of that when they play Final Fantasy. <laughs> and with that, we gain leveled up. Ex AP, I believe, goes towards your materia, which can I, sh I cannot show off at this point, but I do have... Matt, I have access to magic, but I don't have healing magic. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, go to that guard, and then get that. Go up here, and then we can start. Uh, I believe you have to talk to Bix. And I'm not going to be going over every single person's voice. I might, I don't know. If I had other people here with me, I'm recording this on my own. It's a school week. Me and my brothers don't ha exactly have the time to sync up the new recording. Anyways, here we can name the character. I'm just going to use the default names that they have. And if I wanted to play on my own time, I'd probably change it to people I know. But keep, for the sake of the game, it's just going to be Cloud. Look, and there we go. And I guess, uh, like, within the next battle or two, I will show off the cheats that we have access to. Two of them can be used outside the battle, and two of them can be used inside the battle. Uh, Barrett, one of the best characters in this game. I do like him the most. He's, like, since Cloud is, like, your default uh, character, you kind of, like, because he's the main character, you kind of gravitate towards him the most. But Barry, kind of like being a quote-unquote everyman, has a character I do like him like one of the best. Because, yeah, he has a gun for an arm, but yeah, I still like him like one because he's like one of the best characters, in my opinion. Granted, though, that's because of all the supplemental material that's out, that's related to it. Anyways, another battle. Uh, two more soldiers. And you do have access to everything. The limit bar... It will show up, but you see every time you get hit, it fills up a little. Meaning the more damage you take, yada yada. You play if you play Final Fantasy, and you know what Final Fantasy VII is, you kind of understand. But in the event you don't, I will show it off with the limit bar does. Now I will show off the cheats right here to see to kind of show what they do. Now you from since I play on Xbox, you click the left stick. And then you get three times speed. This can go inside battle and outside battle. It can help with grinding and so on and so forth. If you feel like, alright, the game's moving too slow or you have it on, like, say, wait, I guess, and you just kind of, like, want to rush through the battles, like, like that, you can do that to turn on, just kind of quickly, like, run through it. Um, the other one, you have to click the right stick and the left stick at the same time. That just activates no encounters. And it does exactly as it says. It has, you see it right there, has a cross sign out over the Buster Sword, meaning that you will never encounter any fights or boss. Well, you will encounter bosses, what am I saying? <laughs> Um, what I mean is like, you'll never count like a random encounter. That means you will be, if you have that all throughout the entire game, you're locked out of the character. Okay, so before you go any further, you want to go down here, and you want to click on this chest. And you get a Phoenix Down. Phoenix Down, that's our revival item. Now, uh, go over here. And I'll show off, like, the most broken sheet that the game gives you. But I will do that like within a random encounter. I don't think I want to do it against the boss Because doing it against the boss seems highly unfair in my opinion <laughs> This is like oh, yeah, here's the boss. Doo -doo, let's go and I win Because <laughs> that's how broken it truly is Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Drop my phone right there. And as you can kind of see, Cloud is a major jerk in this beginning of this opening section. He cares about getting paid, he doesn't like being here, and he doesn't care if that characters live or die essentially. Now, this area is not as big. Just kind of follow Jesse on the way down and that's how you can go. Now, uh, we have Barrett here with us. And Barrett is a is the long range character of this game. As you see, he has a gun for an arm. And he will there's different ways you can set up the order in how you're gonna display. You can be in the front row or in the back row. I suggest putting Barrett in the back row, because even though he gets a bunch of close range close ranged options, there's really no point in having him being a close range fighter. So what you want to do is you want to go to I believe status. No. Uh. Dang it. Nope. I don't know how to do this. Good. Oh well. Maybe it'll be something I do later. I don't know. I, like I say, it's been a while since I played this game. Anyways, you come across the chasm. Just jump across. If you use. I'm using the. Um, I'm using like the left stick to move because you just have a default run animation when you're holding down the left stick. If you slightly tilt it, you walk, but if you're holding the D-pad, you walk and you have to press the D button in order to walk. Now, here's where I'll show off what the most broken parts of the cheats are. Put the right stick and you activate God break. It's That's all it is. Because here is what it is. You get unlimited um, limits. Magic and attack. Well, not attack. You uh, you always go first is the thing because limits always go first. Uh, regardless of who's playing it, if they have their limit, they will go next. So I'll turn it off there just to try to show how it is. Now, uh oh, <laughs> I guess I should have turned it off fast. Now you can do that. To hurry up and get rid of something right away if you don't want to deal with it because it is annoying and it makes fights very very unfair because like oh I have god mode I win you can't beat me You're like come on that's not fair is it funny yeah if you want to do it for like grinding purposes I suppose but then again why don't you just always have it on um, here you can only save I believe in the overworld and at these save points. So we'll go to save. And we will save right here. I'm not going to have multiple save slots for this. Because in my opinion there's no point. And I'm not, not, not going to drop my Xbox or anything. Uh, here we go. It's order. Uh, you click back. Uh, and you click them in the front. They're slightly forward. They uh, go first. They're in the front row. They take more I don't think they take more damage if they're in the front row, but if they're in the back row, they actually take less damage if the other opponents are like in the front or back. But anyways, moving forward. I will get rid of Cloud's limit break right now. Because in of itself it's unfair. It's unfair for me to have this right away. So let's just do it to get rid of it. It's like alright here. Okay. Oh, I'm actually kinda of surprised that this machine survived, I'm not gonna reply. Then again, it was in the back. If a per- if- bleh, If the two characters in the front are whoever's in the front on a die or defeated, they will force the back row characters to become front row characters. And it's- that's a mechanic in most RPGs that I've noticed. Is it annoying? Eh, I can deal with it. Take that potion. And then we run forward. Now, um, unfortunately with this series, due to school taking up an exorbitant amount of time that I have, I will not be able to post this series as regularly as I want to. Would I do it every other day? Absolutely. Would I do it every day? Absolutely. But due to this, it might be like only like once or twice a week due to my setting, due to my schedule. Because I know next Monday I'm definitely not going to be able to do it because I'm going to be dog tired by the end of it. Anyways, Cloud had a major flashback. Barrett saying what's wrong. And now we gotta set the bomb. And uh oh. 
And here we go, our first boss battle! It's the Guard Scorpion. Now, if I remember correctly, this boss, I have not played the, um... I have not played, what is it, like the hardcore mode or whatever it's called, the final mode, that's a mod, uh, for this game. But I have heard that this boss is quite difficult, I've seen plays of it, and it's actually kind of funny. Um, but yeah, since this is like the first boss, it hits pretty hard, but it's not like that difficult to be in my opinion. Because being the first boss, you should have an idea how it's a weakness, since, uh oh. Okay. Now, uh, I will keep attacking for it for right now, because there's really nothing else I can do. Uh, I am attacking it, I do damage. Now, what we're gonna have to do, hopefully, come on, show it off. Nope. Okay. Attack. Come on. We're gonna show off- I wanna show off your gimmick. Uh, we're gonna heal up Cloud because he has been taking- Yep, there we go. We're gonna heal up Cloud with Barret because he's been taking the brunt of the damage because Barret's just hiding in the back. Barret, be careful. Attack while it's tails up. <laughs> it's gonna attack- counterattack with the laser. Um, that's obviously a translation error. Or it could have been meant that, like, if you attack with a lot of steel and stuff, it's gonna counterattack the laser. So all you gotta do is wait here. Until it lowers its scale back down, and yeah. Doing that, it just kind of... It doesn't really take a while. No, honestly, if you just sit there and wait, it's only like 30 seconds. Because it's active. If it was wait, it'd probably be like several turns, if I'm being honest. Several turns of just sitting down and like waiting to attack the scale thing. <laughs> Excuse my language. Now, since it's a mechanical boss being a robot and all it's weak to electricity, that's why you see me just spamming bolt with cloud and regularly attacking with Barret, because Barret does not have access to any magic or materia at this point. And because Barret's in the background, he actually takes less damage than Cloud, who I believe was taking like 60 on average. There we go. Dark Scorpion defeated. Not hard boss at all. <laughs> and then we get one of the I, I haven't been hearing it because, like, it keeps saying, like, my uh, snowball broke. So, we I just been recording this on silent and I'm recording this off my computer. Oh, we get the assault gun. And you, have, you can choose to take an item at one point or all of them. There's really no point in not taking every item. There, why are you walking so slow? We gotta get out of here. 10 minutes to the end of the shit. Yeah, and that is active time. Meaning. Uh, if I go in the menu, it's at 9.53, I'll wait for, I don't know, like, 3 or 4 seconds. There, see, it goes down while you are doing everything. It should, uh, it's more than enough time, in my opinion. It's more than enough time to get out of the reaction. And so, uh, I'm going to, all you have to do is just run out, a bit, essentially. Even if you run into random encounters, unless you are purposely trying to get this to be as slow as possible, you will not... You're not gonna fail this. Now, you do... You can't go further. Hold up. <laughs> random enemies, I have to get out of here. Oh. Uh, back attack. Now, the way to, like, avoid taking extra damage on the back attack, uh, is just to press the run command. You run, and then they would have done more damage if they were attacking your back. But since they weren't, they take, they do less damage, which on average is going to be like almost nothing. Like you see right there, it's not. Now, uh, these enemies are not hard, but since they are wasting my time, we have to like hurry up. Because now we're at 845, again, it's more than enough fun. Do that, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. God, run. Um, you can leave if you want, but you can't. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? I'm asking for this at this point. I am asking for this, but I will run. I don't care about the- I don't even care about the experience. You have to go back here and talk to Jessie and help her because her leg got stuck. And you will- <laughs> you can stay there all you want, but if you, you waste your time- Uh-oh. There we go. You- you can try to leave, but it's like, you can't leave because Jessie's stuck, so you have to go back and save her. Anyways, yeah. I keep saying it's more than enough time. Look at this, we're already almost out. Gotta run up the stairs. 
If I want to like fire you up a grinding, I will do it off screen, but I probably won't. Most of the time, if I do a grind, it's not going to be off screen, unfortunately. Because, well, if I grind off screen, then you guys are, oh, how do we know we did you stay using cheats? Oh, you went from level 20 to having at one limit break to having level 30, 45, and having all your limit breaks? Yeah, I don't believe you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can cheese it out if you want to, I really don't care. It's your game, your time, but since I'm doing this for the playthrough and for the content, I have to do it like this. Uh-oh. Click the button, so just the click button, and ditch this, wow, okay. Ditch the leader. Granted, I'm a mercenary, that's perfectly fine, but you're leaving there. And you can talk to either one of them. And you just go through here. And it doesn't matter, talk to Biggs, so the have to close the server, I don't know why they're closed. And here we go. And so we made it with just under seven minutes. And the game always is going to present this as you barely escaping at any time. Because look, we had seven minutes left. Must have been a really long walk here. Uh just to go down, we save her. There we go. And now we're stuck. Explosions all over the place. <laughs> uh, it's funny for Wes because he's fat. <laughs> okay. So with that, I want to get paid, and I've been ditched. <laughs> so with that, everyone. Uh, that's gonna cut it for this part. We defeated the guards appropriate, and we have started a new playthrough. How will it go next there? Only one way to find out. I am Omega Zero, and I will catch you guys later.